Hey everyone and welcome finally to the finalist showcase of my summer challenge with the Wetlands Dome. Yeah, finally at the beginning of September. It's almost done with summer. Well, technically it's done already. But first of all, sorry for the delay, but the last weeks have been crazy. And also, you guys have put a challenge on me by sending in so many entries that I really had to look at every single one in detail, obviously. And that just took a little bit of time. So what happens now is in the next three days, today, tomorrow, and on Sunday, you are going to see three videos of the three finalists I pick. You will be able on Sunday to vote on my channel which one is going to be the big winner and this person is obviously going to get all the prizes um, and you know second and third will obviously have had their prizes by being a full showcase and um, yeah. So in order to make it fair you're going to see all the three as a little preview on the screen right now and I'm not going to say which one I'm looking at right now because that's going to be in the title and description and blah 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 just to be not biased. Okay, first things first, I'm going to try to make all tours equally long, so I'm aiming for like a 20-25 minute video max, um, just to, you know, uh, keep it fair for everyone. Um, so, you know, if I'm rushing at a certain point here or there, don't be mad at me, I just want to make it somewhat fair for everyone. But let's just start over with this interpretation of the Wetlands Dome. Um, I can already tell you that all the three are pretty different in the way how they tackle that. Um, I do certainly love about this one that we do have a little road here coming towards the wonderful dome and then we have this uh, lovely little entrance booth over here which almost looks like as if it comes out of the ground really cool design um, then we have got the three info booth over here quite crowded though and then uh, you're greeted already with wonderful areas to the outside which we're going to explore real quick I think I'm going to start here with the left hand side um, obviously I did already check the domes beforehand because I certainly needed to uh, you know uh, make myself a picture of uh, who I'm going to showcase in which not um, but that said all of the entries have been of a wonderful quality so it's you know it's been very hard to pick my favorites but this one over here is one of those three while I'm just jumping onto the roof okay you know we're gonna live with that um, we are now on top of the roof here and you can see the flamingos running around you know while we do so look at that I love that in the back here this concrete below there really lovely transition into that um, while we look at the other side there's also something really cool to get a glimpse of I think there are also some flamingos if I do see that correctly um, and there's like a lovely little area to go to you know what we're just gonna jump over there real quick uh, free leg mode let's jump over here here. It's kind of a carbon copy of the other side. Really cool, really nicely done, as you can see over here. Um, I'm also a super big fan of, uh, you know, this one over here, like having this little sunken in middle part, really bold on the foliage. Really love that. It has a very nice wetland vibe. Okay, let's go all the way back. I'm just going to take a little shortcut over here. Uh, whoop up okay there you go we just jumped over there um yeah the entrance remains the way i had it which i do like a lot because i'm still very proud of that entrance not gonna lie this was a paint build and i loved it um anyways let's move in and boom we are already greeted with a wonderful little tree house over here Okay, is there someone living in there? I don't know. And on the left hand side, we also do actually have a little shop over here. Look at that. Hey, yo. Look at that. Can I have a gulpy energy? Anyhow, there's like a little boat down here. Oh, look at that. There's a croc living over here. I remember that I said that I like to have a croc here as well. Really lovely to see that now. Also, look at that. It's done. The dome is finished. We still have a little bit of fresh air <laughs> coming through the roof. Um, but yeah, let's move on. I wonder, is there anyone, can there anyone climb in there? Who's living in here? Oh, look at that. These are the, the, uh, Gariel. The Gariel is living in here. Not sweet. And there's that little tree house, looks like a little bit of these kind of wetlands areas where you have these watchtowers, really nice. Um, and then if we look, over, what is that building though? And we have some uh, terraces, terraces, I still have no idea how to pronounce that freaking word. I, I need a synonym for that, like raised platforms where people can sit, okay? Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, let's, let's move there first. The platypus area remained the same, so we are not going to look at that too much, but I'm a quite a big fan of this area here. This looks really cool, so, like, we have, like, oh, this is, like, a restaurant over here. Uh-huh, okay. And then we can just move up these stairs and have a seat in these areas, right? Oh, ah, that's so clever, because it is a restaurant. People don't need to actually move here. They're, yeah, oh, that is so clever, because people, you know, um, they are beamed to their tables once they're in the restaurant, so you can go crazy with whatever you want to build. 
and this is why it looks so cool. I was already wondering how the hell do they get there because of all the congestion happening. But there is none. There is none, obviously, because it's it's magic. Awesome. Okay, so there's like a lovely little raised house. Oh, this is some staff houses. Very nicely done. Very nicely hidden. I like that. Um, so over here we do have... Ah, uh, oh, look, we have some exhibits. Fancy. Who's living in here? Oh, that's a froggy frog and... Ooh, ooh, I love that. Someone, someone watched my Yosemite, I guess. Oh, that's so clever. Look at that. Let's just jump from up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up. We're just jumping from one to the other. It's a little bit too high. And just go over here to have the Terrapin. Lovely. Hello. Can I see you? Hello. Someone home? Someone there? No? Hello? Hello. Oh, there you go. They're just all chilling on top of the, on top of the rock. They don't want to be in the water. Okay. Well, never mind then. Um, that's so cool. I also love that little pond over here. It's just was that is really nicely built, isn't it? Really love it. Okay. So if we go higher up that area here, what is then? Oh, oh, look, sweet. There's the water buffalo, and I already did see an otter. Look at that tiny little otter, baby. Ooh, we've got small clawed otter and the uh, buffalo together. I am very much a fan of that. Oh, and we also have the Nile Lechi. Lechi? Lechi? Lech? In here as well? Still no idea how to pronounce that one. Nice, nice haircut, mate. Love the colors. All right, okay, so we've done all that. And um, let's have a little look over here. I love the separation. Is this actually, is this for the staff members? Oh, that's a staff member bridge, isn't it? Ah, very clever. Very clever. Okay, let's move down again. And then all the way around here because I've seen... Okay, so this is then where the staff members can go in. Okay, that's nicely done too. And we can actually go up here a little bit. Yeah, this is that, but I can still have a little looky look, right? Ooh. I like the fact how all the hippo backstage area is now completely hidden and you don't see anything of that anymore. I think this is very well done. Yeah, I mean, obviously this area is quite known. Oh my God, look at that. Sweet. This can almost be like a screenshot of this one with the hippo just moving past here. Oh, I love it. This was actually how I imagined this to, this to work. And now there you go. Love it. I love it. This is exactly what I meant uh, when I was building this area. Okay, let's move forward because this is obviously all I have done. But this, my friend, this is new. Ooh, I like that cave entrance with these locks. It's simple, but it's powerful. Okay, let's move in here. And then, ooh, there's like another little exhibit. What's living in here? That is this one. Okay. Hello. They are so tiny, like very hard to spot in general. And I like how the water is like a little bit more muddy, but I'm... I'm quite sure I won't be able to catch one of those. They're like so hard to see in in there. But that's like how it is in real life, right? This is where the bubbles come from though. There's like, oh no, that's actually the bubbles. So yeah, no. Um, what is living in here? This seems to be like the Cayman. Hello, this is like the Cayman cave. There is one chilling over here. Look at that. But man, this one, this one has some... This one has a has a very nice uh, behavior, like all the fish coming up and he's like, ah, meh, nah, I'm not eating, you know, can very much behave himself very nice. But now it turned around, it's like, okay, maybe it's, it's a little bit too annoying to have all the fish in front of me. So let's turn around <laughs> to not be bothered too much with it. Okay, love it. Look at all that. And is this meant to be here? I mean, it looks cool. I think it's actually meant to be that way. I love it. It's a cool idea how to use this, this weed. They're really nice. Okay, let's move forward because there's even more to see. I like it. I like these huts from over here. That looks really cool with the roof. Quite nice. Okay, we've got some monkeys over here. Also like the... Is this... Oh, this is from the conservation. No, this is from South Africa. Uh, okay, I like this. Um, this one looks really cool. What is in here? This is like some stuff areas. Okay, gonna move up here. Mmm, lovely ice cream. Cosmic cow milkshake. Mm. Gosh, I wish to have a milkshake right now. Haven't had one in ages. Uh, maybe because I don't want the little one to see it quite yet. It's too early. Look at that one. There's one. Oh, is this still the Gariel area? It is, right? So they can actually move around to go into the... Oh, that's some serious nice design here. 
there's like another pond for them. And so if they move around, like over there, this should be then the... Okay, this is then the area. And on top of here, we also have like a little bar. Look at that one. I love it. The scaling is... What is going on with the Tejet cam, explore mode cam on raised platforms though? It's like completely broken. I'm just going to go out of this because it, it really doesn't pay tribute to how nice it looks. I don't want to, you know, go into all these things. I hope Frontier is going to fix that because it's really like a little bit annoying. Um, lovely usage of the palm trees and stuff. And uh, what is in here? Mm. Oh, capuchin monkeys. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Oh my lord, look at that climbing frame. How is this only the capuchin monkeys? I think there are more more animals living in there, or is it only the capuch? Oh, 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 look at that. I love that design. I love it. That's so cleverly done. Oh, look at that. As I said, the capybara is living in here as well, because I saw these like hot spring thingies and I was like, they are not even able to use it. So there might be something else in there. Oh man, I'm a big fan of, of the climbing frames and stuff. Really looking, really looking dope. Love it. Look at all the monkeys roaming around. That is so cool. Okay, but we are gonna go all the way down here and just put ourselves back down in the explore mode. There you go. Awesome stuff. Look at that. Look at that. I really do love that. I really do love it. Moving from A to B, just zooming around in here. Actually, actually this is a wonderful view over here of the dome. Look at that, all the capuchins and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of how that turned out. Also with the waterfall, making this really feel like a wetland dome. And then over here, I assume we are moving our way back to the crocodile Dundee, right? Over here, crocodile, crocodile. Yeah, that seems to be the crocodile. Okay. Also love how the plants are in integrated over here. It's very, very sweet. I love it. It's, you know, it's not overdone. Um, and it's very much close to what I envisioned um, in terms of, you know, the, the, the lushness, which is not super lush. It's quite open in here, to be honest. Um, so that's what I envisioned as well. So um, that's very nice. Look at that little statue down here sunken into the ground. That's kind of working. It is kind of working. And then over here we have the crocodiles. and Oh, it's just the alligator. I think it's the alligator, right? Yeah, that's the alligator. So, um, yeah, it looks really cool. Do they have also a way to go outside or is this just like the, just like that area in here? If we just move around, I think they can't move, go out. Or can they go out on the other hand, maybe? I mean, they would be able to snack some flamingos then, I assume, because the flamingos are living out there, right? <laughs> no, they're not. Okay, so this is the other side then. Look at that with like the little potteries here and stuff. Really good, really, really good. Oh no, wait, this is then, ah, there's like a separation in between. So this is the Gariel, obviously. Yep, I do quite like this. Okay, I think to make ourselves like a little bit of a better overview, we should actually jump out of the explore mode and go into the free look again. Zoom up a little and have a little overview of the entire, oh my god, look at that sweet dome. Yep, guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is most likely what I was talking about. I really, really, really do like this interpretation of the dome. And as I said, the other ones are going to be very, very different from this one. So I'm just going to zoom out again because it's also just fair to show it from the outside. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did I not put the... I think I'm not having like the full sandbox mode on and this might be why they're like complaining, but... You know, we're just going, not going to save this anyways. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look at the flamingos running around. Also, I love how many animals are in these uh, habitats. Like, honestly, um, I just feel like I always go too low on the amount of animals I have. Also, love how they have all these, like, pillars and stuff in here. Just to give them a little bit to play and move around. And I'm a big fan. Like, sometimes I'm so scared to just make so, like, simple habitats like that. Because at the end of the day, it is simple, but it just looks good the way it does. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'm really not sure if, if I might just sometimes try to be a bit more easy on what I'm doing. Because obviously it still looks good. Like, just as a comparison, I remember because in this one over here, they just put down so much more details and stuff. And it also looks good, obviously, but it, it's not like... 
such a crazy difference. Like it, it just fits with the outside animals and um, it, it just fits. It, it really does look good. Also, can I just go and have a little dive over here? Love it. Look at that. This is for the capybaras to have a little dive in here. I think this is just some shallow water, like wetlands wise. Awesome. And then we have got this lovely little back area where they can hide. Also, I'm a big fan of the fact that they have like this little area over here is super sweet. Like they can just chill behind that tree and people from above, just like we did, are barely even able to see that. Like the only reason why it just dragged me, my attention to this area was because of that little canal solution. And um, yeah, that's super nicely done. She's like taking a photo with the phone. Okay. Um, is there anything in here what I missed? No, this is just like, this is just like the backstage area, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Just checking that I didn't miss out on anything because this is what we did with a platypus. Uh, there's one platypus chilling in the water and this is obviously where the hippos were. This is, yeah, this is slightly changed because obviously my hippo area was a bit different and now this is all incorporated in in one big volume of water which is going to house the otters and stuff and then on the other side the buffalo and lachiu and, you know, all these kind of animals. Um, yeah, I think the way this is solved is pretty, pretty dang good. Okay, we are 16 and a half minutes in. I think it's only fair to end this here. I don't want to make these other videos too long. I think you guys got a very nice overview of this creation and just to just to do that again i'm gonna put in all three now as a little preview at the end of the episode so that you do know what you can expect from tomorrow and from sunday and make sure to already note down your favorite if you have any um, and if you want to give some comments to the creator of this build please do so in the comments down below um, give the exposure to those people and i'm also going to link the link to this special uh, creation to the workshop um, so you can go and and uh, subscribe to this yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, wish all of you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye. And also, if you might wanna watch something else like this and if you enjoyed these types of videos, on the screen to the top right for you is now a video that you may like. So click on that to go on binge watching Planet Zoo content because you'll love it. Okay, have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>